Hello everyone, today we're looking at our second video on key angle facts and what we're going to look at today are angles within isosceles triangles and angles within quadrilaterals. Now in our first video we looked at four key points, we looked at the fact that a right angle made a 90 degree angle, straight lines, the angles on straight lines were added up to make 180, angles at a point added up to make 360 degrees, and angles in a triangle added up to make 180 degrees. Now for today's video, we're gonna build on these, um, on these facts, and we're gonna link it to isosceles triangles and quadrilaterals. We're gonna just give you a bit of theory and then look at a few questions which we're gonna answer. So the first thing we're talking about are isosceles triangles. Now an isosceles triangle, is represented by two lines showing us that these two lengths are the same. These two lengths of the triangle are the same. But the other thing to note is that when you have an isosceles triangle, it's not just the lengths are the same, it's the angles at the bottom of those two lengths. And these are known as the base angles. And for an isosceles triangle, the base angles are equal. So this angle over here is equal to this angle over here. That's a very, very key point. Now, the second rule we're looking at are angles inside a quadrilateral. Now, if you draw a quadrilateral, that's a four-sided shape, you can draw any four-sided shape you want. If I put a dot here, a dot here, a dot here, and maybe a dot here. One, two, three, and four. I've just created a four-sided shape there. Now, what I can do is if I take any two points that are opposite each other, so for example, if I take these two points here, I actually split this into two triangles. And the angles over here are one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, what we know is that these three angles are gonna add to 180. And these three angles are gonna to add to 180. So if these angles add to 180, and these angles add to 180, that means all of these edge angles add to 360 degrees. And this is the case for any quadrilateral, that the angles in a quadrilateral add to 360 degrees. And that's our theory for today. The fact that the base angles in, a quad, in an isosceles triangle are equal, and the angles in a quadrilateral add to 360 degrees. We're now going to use all these different rules and tackle some different questions. So what we've got on the other side of this is a variety of different questions. We have an isosceles triangle, we have a quadrilateral, and we've got a second isosceles triangle. We're just going to tackle these step by step. So the first case, and the first point that I said last time round is just fill in as many angles as possible to make this easier for you using the different rules. Now, the first thing we can see in this example over here is we have an angle on a straight line. And we know that angles on a straight line add to 180. So this angle over here is simply going to be 180 minus 112 and if you work that out you get a value of 68. So I'm going to actually draw on my diagram over here that this value over here is equal to 68. Now because we said this is an isosceles triangle and the base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal we can say that the angle over here on the left hand side is also equal to 68. And now we've got two angles inside a triangle when we know that all three of them are going to add to make 180. So we can say that A plus 68 plus 68 is equal to 180. And from this, we can find that 68 and 68 added together gives us a value of 136. And if we then take that away from 180, A is equal to minus 136 minus 136 is equal to a value of 44 degrees. 
So what we've done there is we've looked at that in stages. We first used the fact that angles in a straight line add to 180. We then said that the base angles are the same, and then the angles in the triangle add to 180 degrees. So let's come to the next example. The next example shows us a quadrilateral, and we know that the angles inside a quadrilateral add to 360. Now we know this angle over here is 95, this angle over here is 105, but we also have a right angle showing. And for this, again, I would annotate my diagram and say, well, look, we know this is a right angle, this is equal to 90 degrees. And now we only have one missing angle to find. We just need to work out the value of B. Well, over here, we've been told that the angles in a quadrilateral add to 360. So we can say B plus 105 plus 95 plus 90 all add up to 360. And if we add those values together, 105 plus 95 plus 90, we get B plus 200 and 90 is equal to 360. And now it's just simply subtracting 290 from 360. If we take away 290 here and take away 290 here, we get a value of B equal to 70 degrees. So once again, just using the fact that angles in the quadrilateral add to 360 degrees. Okay, the last example we've got over here is an isosceles triangle. We can see, and also the fact that we've got angles occurring at a point. So we're gonna combine these two together. Now, the first thing to note is that we know that these two angles are the same. Now, I don't know what those are, I'm just going to call them x. And what we can say is that x and x and 180 make 180. So x plus x plus 80 is equal to 180. If I collect the like terms here, x and x is simply just 2x plus 80 is equal to 180. And now, if we take away the 80 from the 180, we can see that there are 100 degrees left over, minus 80. 2x is equal to 100. And those 100 degrees have to be split between these two. So we simply divide both sides by 2, giving us x is equal to 50 degrees. Now, we've seen the value of x. We need the value of c. Well, we know that now, if this angle over here is 50, I can put that onto my diagram, this is 50 and this is 50. We know that angles at a point add to 360. So we can say that 50 plus the value of C is equal to 360. And if I take away 360, the 50 away from that, we can see that C is equal to 310 degrees. So once again, just using our key angle factor to work out these different questions. Now I'm gonna show you one final example, which is a bit trickier. It's gonna incorporate all of our rules, but again, it's just showing us that just to do things step by step, use the rules that we know, just to solve the little problem that we have. So here we have our final example. Now it's gonna look a little bit complicated, but that's okay because what we're going to do is we're just going to tackle this step by step. We're going to make it easier for ourselves. Now, there's a lot of different things going on here. There's a couple of isosceles triangles, there's a quadrilateral, there are some straight lines, but we just need to do this stage by stage. We need to break it down. The whole point is we need to do it step by step, not rush it. The first thing which I can see is I've got an isosceles triangle over here. Now, for this, I'm just going to work out the different angles in this shape. That's what I want to do, to work out the different angles. The question actually wants us to find this angle over here, but we're going to go through this step by step. Because this triangle here is isosceles, it means this angle over here is the same as this angle over here. So we can say immediately this is 30 degrees. We also have a right angle over here which we know is 90 degrees. So I'm going to put that onto my diagram. 
Now we could actually work out this angle over here as well, because we know that the angles inside a triangle add to 180. So 30 plus 30 is 60. So if we do 180, take away the 30 plus 30, which is 60, we get 120. So this angle over here is 120. Now, we've worked out the angles in this triangle. Maybe we can come to this triangle over here because we can see that we have a straight line over here. So if you have a straight line over here, that means that this angle over here and the 90 and the 30 all add to 180. So we can say 180 minus what 30 and 90 together is 120. We take that away, we get an angle of 60. So this angle over here is now 60. So again, we've done another angle. And again, we've got an isosceles triangle over here. So if this is 60, it means this angle over here is also equal to 60. And now, just like we did over here, to work out this angle where we added the two base angles and took them away from 180, we can do the same thing over here. We can say that 180 take away 60 plus 60, which is 120 is equal to 60 again so this angle over here is 60 and actually that means this is an equilateral triangle because all the angles are the same now bringing it a little bit further up we can see here we need four angles in the quadrilateral we don't have this one and we're trying to work this one out so we're almost there we can see here again i've got a straight line over here which means that this 60 this 75 and this angle over here need to add to make 180 so we can say we call this angle maybe x we could say x plus 60 plus 75 up here so that's our straight line is equal to 180 and if we now add this together 60 and 75 we get 135 is equal to 180, which means that x, when we take away 135 from both sides, is equal to 45. So now we have this angle over here, which is 45. And we are now on the last part. We now have the missing angles in the quadrilateral. We just need this one over here, which is the actual value we need. We know that angles in a quadrilateral add to 360. So we can say the 45 plus the 90 plus the 100. So 45 plus 90 plus 100. If we call this angle maybe the letter Y, plus Y is equal to 360. If we add these values together, 190 and 45, we get a value of 235 plus Y, is equal to 360 and then to finish that off we simply subtract away 235 from both sides giving us a value of y equal to 125 degrees and that's our final answer over there now, as I said, that was quite a complicated question, but really we just broke it down using these different rules to try and make it easier for us. And that's what the key is for these kind of questions. Just try and fill in as many angles as you can because it will make the puzzle easier to solve. So just a quick review. A right angle is equal to 90 degrees. Angles on a straight line add to 180. Angles at a point add to 360. Angles in a triangle add to 180. And for today's video, we said the base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal, and the angles in a quadrilateral add up to 360 degrees. I hope that's made sense. If it hasn't, please leave a comment below or message me directly. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.